troopers are not looking for human smuggling. They're just looking for traffic violations. But just last week, troopers found six men in a packed vehicle. And it's not the only time. On Interstate 75 in Hernando County Thursday, troopers made the latest human smuggling arrest. This driver is accused of transporting five undocumented workers to Tampa. According to the arrest report, the driver told troopers, quote, he has a boss in Arizona who makes arrangements for the trip. In just one week, same interstate, troopers took in three other suspects. This man reportedly driving without a license is charged with transporting four migrants. Troopers also showing pictures of the vehicles involved in two other incidents that happened just six minutes apart. Is it something that we're seeing more of? Yes, we are. Did you expect to be on the front lines of human smuggling? Uh, this is one issue of many that we deal with. Sergeant Everything Steve Gaskins is with the Florida Highway Patrol. In these cases, he says, troopers initially spot a traffic infraction, one vehicle closely following another, illegal window tinting and fake tags. Once the stop is made, troopers find food wrappers, air fresheners, even a bottle of urine. The people inside, all strangers to one another and in the country, illegally. All these things, they, they build up and give a, a picture to our troopers that something's amiss. When we're seeing them, they're on the, typically on the tail end of their journey. So they're looking to stay in Florida? Uh, most of the people are looking to find work. Uh, reside here, um, you know, for whatever reason they want to be here. So where do they actually end up? The drivers go to the county jail. We are told charged with human smuggling. The passengers are taken by U.S. Border Patrol and they are eventually transported back to their home country. Mm -hmm. You know, we feel, we hear a lot about this, but we don't hear a lot about where they're coming from. What countries are we talking about here? So with these four incidents, we've learned that the people involved are from Mexico, Guatemala, and also Honduras.